What's going on guys? Welcome to another Python Mathematics and Stock Indicators tutorial video. In this video we're going to be talking about how to calculate the shake and money flow. If you don't have the sample data already, so you haven't maybe been following until this video, this is where you're going to get the sample data that we're going to be working with real quickly. And that's going to be uh, syntax.com slash sample data dot text. Just uh, control A, control C, and you have the data. So coming over here, uh, let's go ahead and import NumPy as MP, import times, we're going to need that. And now let's go ahead and open up that sample data file. So we're going to say sample data equals open, and we're going to open that sample data.txt with the intention to read it. And then we're going to go ahead and read it into memory. Then we're going to split that file. So split data equals sample data dot split. Whoops. Split by new line. Then we're going to go ahead and do date close p high p low p open p volume equals np dot load text. What text do we want to load? We want to load up split data. The delimiter is going to be a comma, since it's a comma separated variable list there. And unpack equals true, so we can unpack all these variables. Next, we want to define CHM lowercase o capital F. And the data that we're going to pass through here is going to be a D, C, H, L, an O, a V, and a TF. So date, close, high, low, open, volume, time frame. Now we're going to start off with some empty arrays. Let me make some more space here. So one of our empty arrays will be CHMF. Maybe our check and money flow that we eventually return. Our MFMS, um, that'll be our money flow uh, multipliers. Then our MFVS, money flow volumes. And then X will start at time frame. Now, while X is less than the length of D for date, what do we want to do? Well, period volume, we'll say right now equals zero, but we'll start populating that. Uh, we're going to define vol range equals V, so volume is what we're referencing, that V data here. V, um, yeah, Vx minus Tf to the x variable, so that's the range of volume numbers that we're going to consider. And then we're going to say <clears throat> for each uh, each volume in vol range, what do we want to do? Period volume uh, plus equals each vol. So that's that. Now, uh, what we're going to want to do now is say MFM for money, um, uh, money flow multiplier. What we want to do is um, put some parentheses and inside there add two more parentheses. And we're going to say basically it'll be C minus L for clo or, uh, yeah, close minus the low. And then it's a minus the high minus the close, right? Then it was divided by what? The H minus or the high minus the L. Then the next thing we have to do is we have to make this the X uh, variable in that array. So I'm just going to copy that and uh, behind every uh, letter there, you add X, since it has to be the X. Done. MFV equals MFM, oops, I made that a C, MFV equals MFM times uh, the period volume. And now we're going to say MFMs dot append MFM then mfvs dot append mfv and then we'll do our x plus oops x plus equals one and now we've done that so we've got the mfm and we've got the mfv so step one and step two is done but we still have to calculate that uh, shake and money flow <laughs> so y equals time frame and then wow y is less than the length of um, Hmm. 
Uh, just to be safe, we'll do MFVs. We probably should do date, but that's okay. We'll lose a little bit more data on the end. But again, the moving averages and stuff and the starting point will uh, make that not matter. So while that is the case, again, we're going to do period vault. And in fact, what we shall do is just a copy and paste right here and paste it right there. So we don't have to redo that. So the period volume stuff, we'll, we don't want to redo that again. So uh, once we've done that, then we're going to say consider. So the array that we want to consider now is MFVs. And again, we're going to do uh, Y minus time frame colon Y. So that will be what we consider now. And let's make some space here. And it's going to be TFS MFV equals zero. Then for each MFV uh, in consider TFS MFV plus equals each MFV. So that's basically like you know like this time uh, time frames money flow uh, volume here. Now. Uh, what we want to do is we're going to say uh, TFS CMF equals TFS money flow volume divided by that period volume. And then finally we have our CHMF dot append uh, TFS, oops, that's lowercase, TFS CMF. Uh, so time frames, shike and money flow. And then this is just simply shaking uh, money flow uh, that we're appending up here. So now uh, we finally need to do an x or a y plus equals one, and then at the end of this we return date, and we're going to do time frame plus time frame colon, and we'll return uh, chmf. Um, that way they're of equal length, and then ch. Uh, M O F. What is the data we want to pass through that? So, like, what's the data we want? Like, it's date, close, high, low, open. So, instead of typing that all again, let's just highlight this, copy, come down here, paste. Oops, not that many paste. One paste, and then we'll use a time frame of 20. So, what that's going to do is generate this with a time length of 20, and then at the end of all this, we can just print. Uh, CHMF just to see like what if we get results that we think look right so we can run that and I'll just drag over the results um, so it looks like you know about what we're looking for right um, so the best thing now that we can do is just plot it up and make sure that's exactly what we were uh, hoping to achieve with our shike and money flow so in the next video that's what we'll be doing if maybe I went a little too fast in this video let me uh, zoom out with a smaller font here and talk again over what we just did so let me apply okay and then let me pull up the uh, oh that was the old image hold on let me pull up the uh, shike and money flow real quick so the idea first is to find the close minus the low minus the high minus the close divided by the high minus the low so of course that's what we did right here and that's known as the money flow multiplier. Then step two is to take that money flow multiplier and multiply that times the time frames or the time frame periods total volume. So the way that we did that was we got that time frames total volume with this uh, thing right here, right? It just adds it all to period volume at each at each step of the way. So then that's what we're doing here. So here's step two, right? And this is also sort of part of step two, but this is mostly your step two. Finally, uh, you've got the third step, which is going to be uh, the time frame sum of step two. So the sum of that for the 20 periods, basically, um, which is known as the sum of the money flow volume. And then you divide that by that period's total volume. So that's what we're doing down here. Um, is considering that sum and then we divide it by the sum of the period here which is right here so this time frames CMF so it's time frames uh, shike and money flow and then at the end of that we start we append all of the uh, shike and money flows and then we return all of the uh, shike and money flows so hopefully that clears that up if I went maybe too fast to do that 
Now, in the next video, what we're going to do is actually uh, chart this up. It's pretty simple to chart it up and add it in there, as you guys have probably found. Um, so anyways, that's what we'll be doing in the next video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions. And until next time.